work with the fourth and fifth graders? Is it this year? This year. When? Yeah. When? Like next well, month, I think in January, um, uh, Kelly will start to work with teachers on, on preparing those lessons, a couple of those lessons. We're also bringing the Museum of the Moving Image here to do some professional development. That's part of our roadmap. So they'll also add, so it'll happen uh, sort of between January and June. Yes? So our goal is for things to happen during the school day um, and also for things to happen in after school. So we're, there's already, or at least uh, there should be already uh, coasters in after school. And we are, I'm really excited to say, uh, working on a robotics program that we will sponsor. We put out the word to our Cornell alumna network that we needed a mentor and happily today I got uh, two emails from people who are very excited to participate in that program. So I'm really excited about that. And that happened after school and probably weekends too. Robots, building, and programming. Yes. Yes. I don't believe that this is designed at this time to be a part of their grades. Right now, uh, we're, we don't want to put that pressure on kids, and we don't want to put that pressure on teachers. Um, you know, they're teaching new material. I think we're looking for a way to add excitement and engagement to the program, and not to add pressure. Yes. And I gotta say, in the back, I'm deaf in my right ear, so no, you speak loud. <laughs> I understand what you said about uh, needing to go slow, uh, but I think if you go around the room, you'll find many, I don't know, parents of second graders who have already been using Scratch at home for years. So I was wondering, like, these after school programs, is there something that we could kind of do to kind of incorporate these kids now? Just, like the Beacon program, it sounds like it might really apply to older kids. Is there any sort of after school activities planned for younger kids who are kind of after school? Or some sort of, I, mean, I, just, I, I don't want them to be forgotten. So they're definitely not forgotten, and this fall, uh, this winter, I will actually be doing some unplugged work with uh, teachers of younger kids. Uh, you know, I think we're not sure that we want to put everybody on more screen time uh, when they're at that age, but there's so much stuff that we can do sort of along the lines of that storyboarding that you saw that we can do to prepare students to think computationally, and, uh, and that will happen this year. Um, and I will take it under advisement that you think there is an appetite for more. Thank you. Other questions? Yes. Okay, can you give more information about the robotics program that you're planning? So our plan is to uh, sponsor a first Lego League robotics team. Um, my goal is really to start to grow the team now. When we are on the island, this will be a much more robust program because my students can just walk up the street and get deeply involved. But, and I think you'll see Cornell in Ithaca has a very uh, strong relationship with the Ithaca City Schools around robotics. So I'm, I'm looking two years down the road, so we're gonna start building that team now. Um, I don't think that they won't compete this year, but they'll probably compete next year. Yes. Say it again. It, I think we're not looking to establish an independent class. We're looking to give to, uh, teachers um, experiences that they can embed in the regular subject matter. So things that teach data and history, or things that help with computing and math. We want it to be, because real computational work happens not in isolation, but inside subject matters. It's a problem-solving discipline. Any other questions? Okay, so, uh, and I'm around. Oh, sorry, who did I miss? Thank you, sorry. Right here. 
We are not. We are not building a private school. I can. I can say that with definition. I'm looking for my boss. I can say that, right? Yeah. We're not planning a private school. We are. We are deeply invested in this relationship. We, you know, Cornell doesn't have an education school. Um, and so, and we will always be a graduate school in disciplines related to technology. So uh, we're going to focus on our graduate students and, and, and let Mrs. Beckman focus on the K-8 students. Yes? Um, so I, I gather that you all have some curriculum, some sort of planned out, um, and then you said to follow. Have you considered tying this anyway to something more towards maths and some basic science? Or is this all going to be just robotics and programming? No, no, I think it will always be tied to other disciplines, not only to math and science, to math, science, and social studies, and English, and art. No, no, but I'm talking about the actual robotics and computing. I mean, there's a fundamental mathematical and science, you know, physics physics. We're going to eighth grade. So I don't think we're necessarily going to be teaching uh, that level of programming, uh, but we'll see. So is it an evolving curriculum? Along with the city, uh, we are. If there is no existing K-8 scope and sequence for computer science, so we're building that together. We're doing it thoughtfully, so we're sure we're using tools that we have confidence in, and that are developmentally appropriate, and that don't overtax our teachers. Yes. So my salary is funded by Cornell Tech and the uh, robotics I am sponsoring. I have hired a consultant to bring in here. It's a partnership, so Mrs. Beckman is paying teachers to participate in professional development. We're, uh, you know, we sort of meet each other halfway in that sense. I think there is substantial fundraising at this school for enrichment of many kinds. I think it's possible that someday some of that funding might go in this direction, but we don't have that plan right now. I know that everybody would like to get up to computers. So I am going to be around. I'm going to go upstairs with you. Here's what's going to happen. Oh, you say. I just want to uh, say that we've been joined by Shelby Garner from Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney's office. And all the elected officials have been so very supportive. Thank you. Thanks, Jane. So here's what's going to happen upstairs. There are three projectors set up in the hallway on the fourth floor that are set up with games that our middle school students built uh, in October, that they will be up there to sort of guide you through like a sort of an arcade. And they'll show you how to uh, do some changes in them. And then the computer lab, let's see if I can do this, 405 and 409 are set up with laptops. Uh, my students um, from Cornell Tech, some of my, my uh, staff, uh, our staff from Cornell Tech and um, member of uh, the staff of the Museum of the Moving Image and Kelly will be up there to sort of help us walk through this. Uh, you know, it is definitely uh, one computer per family, not per person, because there's a lot of us here. We might need to be a little patient, but uh, let's go upstairs and let's start coding. Thanks, everybody. Thank